Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. And perhaps some of you remember my video game review of Bebe's Kids. <laughs> I didn't like it. So, I guess the best way to torture me some more is to show me the original film that it was based off of. No, no, but good guess. Surprisingly, it's under the exact same title, simply known as Bebe's Kids. <laughs> From what I understand, Bebe's Kids was the first anime movie to feature an entire African-American cast. And it would be 17 years before they figured out how to do it right. But you can't expect perfection the first time around. How about just... competence? Yeah, we, we don't really get that either. What do we get? Well, sit back before I beat the black off of you. It's a line from the movie. This is Baby's Kids. So the film is based off the stand-up of the late Robin Harris. So it starts off by showing us a bit of his act. What kids do? Those are baby kids. Tell me, are those your kids? No. <laughs> Why is it I get the feeling he would act the same way about the movie being released? Did you make this movie? No, 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 man, no, no. Well, that's Bebe's kids. We see Harris as his anime itself telling the story about how he got into so much trouble to a blind bartender. Huh. Not to be mean, but isn't that kind of like giving the job of a DJ to a deaf person? I knew she was trouble. I should have known it when I met her. It was at a funeral. That's right, the story starts at a funeral. Appropriate start. Oh, look at this brick house. Man, she's so fine, she make you want to get a job. You mean a chubby, unattractive male gets a saucy, hot as female? Aha! Uh -huh. In what media? She puts me in the mind of Players Magazine. You sure look good in black, baby. When a person is dead, you can talk about him. Good God, you'd think she was at a funeral or something. So Robin approaches this hottie of a woman and tries to ask her out. Uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, I didn't catch the name. Didn't throw it. Well, my name is Robin. Robin? Hmm. That explains the red vest. Oh, come on, honey. I'm just dying to know your name. <laughs> dying to know your name. See a little funeral humor there. See, I can get away with that because I'm going to be dead before this movie even comes out. <laughs> and that joke was Bebe's kids. So he finds out the woman's name is Jamika, and they tend to hit it off. She picks up her kid named Liam from the babysitter and invites Robin to come along with her to an amusement park called Fun World. Of course, he agrees. That was a nice movie, thank you. That was, what, 500 frames of animation to bring that moment to the big screen? Well worth the time and money. She got three more kids with her. So Robin is finally introduced to Bebe's Kids. This is LaShawn. Oh, number one. Ow! Kalia. What's up, girl? What's up? And this is little Pee Wee. Pee Wee. The OG. It's that guy with the deep voice again! You know the one from Blank Check, Fern Gully, and Surf Ninjas? What's his name again? Tone Lock? STOP FOLLOWING ME, Tone Lock! Or is it Tone Lo? T -t Tone Lock? T Tone... Tone Loki? T Tone Lock? Uh, tone Loki? Tone Tone Lock? Tone Loprano? Tone... 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 Neck... Pettywag... Give the dog a low... Tone... Tone... Luke... Tone... Maybe... Tone... Tone... Loco... Tone... 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 No, no, that's way off. Tone... Lock... Picard... P... Tone... Tone... Wait, maybe it's... Tony the Tiger? Anthony Carroll Smith? Tone Luke. Tone Laka. Get on with it! Don't! Yeah, anyway. Bottom line, the baby talks. And. It's weird. It's really weird. Actually, it's like a primordial Stewie Griffin. It's just crazy. You vile woman. You've impeded my work since the day I escaped your. Oh, yeah. So they reached the half. Emerald City, but before they can go in, they're stopped by security. You just remember, we'll be watching you. Not great as that eyebrow d 
from the Matrix movies. Are you starting trouble? Definitely a troublemaker. Mr. African American. Area tickets, programs, maps, senior citizen discount cards, tennis shoes, a basketball, mugs, decals, bumper stickers. Dude, I wish I got all that stuff when I went into an amusement park. All I ever get are coupons that actually adds more money to the product than it does deduct. And observe the rules while in Fun World. No running, no jumping, no yelling, no cutting in line, no grumbling. Yeah, where's the sign that says no beavis, no vibes? No sad faces, bad attitudes, introspective moments, irritation at the mind. Jesus, are they entering North Korea? Enjoy your stay. So they get inside and set the kids loose. And as you'd imagine, they run a riot. The day just started and I'm tired of this. I'm not your daddy and I ain't having it. Oh, did I mention by the way that this is probably the worst rap ever? It sounds like it's being made up on the spot. In a bad way. You the kind of kids ain't never been nowhere. Cause huh? baby ain't talking to you, it's just don't care. I got me a chicken and a couple oranges for baby kids, they Excuse me, sir, but I have to charge you for the items your kids manhandled in the store. Ladies and gentlemen, that was another pointless moment. In fact, I'm just going to do a count of how many pointless moments there are in this movie. And picking the nose moment counts as one of them. Look at that number going up. It's going to go up. Where did Pee Wee go? I say Jeff. If you don't tell me where your little brother is, I'm going to beat the black off you. Ah, yes, the first animated film to have an all-African-American cast utters its first great historical line. They call me Mr. Tibbs. Either they don't know, don't show, or don't care about what's going on in the hood. I'm going to beat the black off here and you're going to look lighter than Michael Jackson. Epic. House of Glass? Oh, good! I can't wait for them to make a video game level out of that. So after he calms down the kids, he runs into an old familiar face, his ex-wife. Hello, Robin. Long time no see. Why is she wearing a ballerina skirt as a top? Was she born to torture me? Look at her, can't even wear high heels shoes. Just sliding and sliding all over the place. Smoke coming out, looked like a train coming down the aisle. I remember one time she went to Lane Bryant. Nah, losing the story and going into stand-up. Come on, bring it back, bring it back to the story. Come on, come on, come on, come on, bring it back, bring it back to the story. Come on, here we are, we have plot again. Barely. So they look around for rides to enjoy, and I have to admit, this part is kind of funny. They go on a couple of rides, annoy Robin whenever they can, and one of the kids even pukes in the middle of their fun. I'm just glad it didn't happen on the roller coaster. You would have got me too. <laughs> no, it's the touching, hosing down the kid scene. Don't you wish they had that scene in the sandlot? <laughs> Me neither. Oh, that feels better. So they let the kids go off on their own as Robin and Jamika ride the tunnel of second base. You really have been sweet with the kids today, Robin. You know, you're really good with them. What? You know, you're really good with them. Really? Because he looks like a to me. But uh, maybe I'm missing something. I mean... Maybe this is like a brand new way of parenting. This really clever, subtle way that really shows how much love you can give. Maybe this way is going to totally change the way we look at parenting. I'm gonna beat the black off you. Don't fight fair. I'm gonna drop you like a bad habit. Knock the out of them kids. Test two, baby. Yeah, he's an So scoot them the big hips on Oh, are you crazy? Whoa, hold on, baby. You got a music video in your eye. Just like this yeah, I told them not to drink the water. So, yeah, you might be wondering, what the f is this all about? Well, in the 80s and early 90s, especially in confused animated films, they would have a music video. They serve no purpose, and to be honest, the majority of big lived alligator moments probably came from them. But hey, look on the bright side. I ain't got nothing. You know, I think they just figured it was cheaper to do line drawing, so let's just call it a music video. That'll explain it. This has been another pointless moment.
Meanwhile, Leon tries fitting in with the other kids, but doesn't seem to do very well. So what up with that? Y'all gonna scrap or give a hug? Go on, kiss him. Ha! <laughs> 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 we got a good <laughs> Oh, yeah, player of the year. This has been another pointless moment. So the kids run around the amusement park causing trouble until... Unsupervised minors are prohibited from engaging in unauthorized leisure activity. Yeah, no laying around. Allow me to escort you to my personal favor. <laughs> Safety first. Wrap them in tight. Good night, Gracie. Ah, Mr. Toad's tripped out right! <laughs> if our hand in your pants feels like a grand presumption. They managed to get out and convince a bunch of other kids to get out and spread the chaos. Wow, who are you guys? We Bay Bay kids. Bay Bay's kids? Yeah, we don't die, we multiply. Unlike your ticket sales! They just die! What's your name, man? My name's Winthrop! Winthrop? <laughs> No, man, we call it you OP. Your name is OP! Winthrop. Your name is OP! Winthrop. OP is a perfectly nice name. My name's Richie. Like the comic book, Richie? Dang, you guys got some corny names. What's your name? And if you can, please say it without I'm rapping, you son of a b Take up and never get school, I'm a fool faker. Shorty, the OG with thought of a clout, lips smacking for us under the blouse. Jesus, I never thought I'd say this, but where's ice when you need them? Don't look back, whack, go take a nap. There goes three, three for, for the shovel and two for the base. We baby kids are real wrecking this Where's Kazam when you need him? Let's green egg and ham it. Wait, no, no, go back to the camp, go back to the camp. Won't be no attacking. Oh, this thing's much better after the, after the Kazam thing. Strike Jack! Run for your lives! They have attitudes! Attitudes! Look! There they are! Sir, we're gonna need backup on this. It appears we have attitude. Attitude? Attitude. So we cut to Robin and Jamika as she goes into the ladies' room trying to powder her scribbled nose. But then Black Ethel and Black Lucy come in to sabotage their relationship. My man Robin came over last night. Oh, he's good to me, but he's so mean to the kids. That's a shame. You love him? Mm -hmm. ah, did we psycho out of one? <laughs> did you see her face? I know, I know. Girl, I ain't seen nobody that mad since I saw Robin in divorce court. <laughs> I guess the lipstick in the sink was symbolic. The hole in the sink representing the trouble that lies ahead, and the lipstick representing the fact that this movie blows. Meanwhile, the kids are held hostage by the Terminator while robotic Abraham Lincoln tries to save them, but this mechanical bear pops up and okay! I went too far, obviously. Let's go back and see what we missed. Okay, they snuck in a building. There's the Terminator. There's Lincoln. There's the mechanical bear. Oh, and a robotic Nixon! Okay, this all suddenly makes sense. So, the animatronics are holding a trial to see if the kids are worth electrocuting to death as Abe Lincoln and Richard Nixon defend their sides. Nope, the movie's just weird. So, how did they get out of this extremely surreal predicament? By rapping, of course! Ladies and gentlemen of the court, you're about to witness a brand new sport where you're on the offense and I'm on the defense. So let's see if we can make some sense. I don't know what it is, but something about this kid reminds me of Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. In fact, this was probably his re a rap song about the justice system. Now it's time to rest my case and get the verdict face to face. Wave your hand. Okay, someone needs to go into therapy for a couple of years now. I do not consider the ramifications of a well put together rap. I deem this fly. I'm saying wild, but I'm only a child. What Bebe's kids really need is freedom. That's right, give us the privilege to destroy things and hurt others. That's what the justice system is all about. Freedom. 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 
I'm seriously confused and afraid of this scene right now, so I'm just gonna go to the next one. I see some women can't do anything without a man. Why are you lying to me? Don't you know that this kind of game only brings me and Jamaica closer? I'm sorry, I refuse to believe that this man has two women going after him. I mean, look at him, he looks like an overstuffed tomato. The only woman to go after him is a drunk gardener. Your mama. My mama? Yeah, your whole family. Ain't that a look at your mama so old, she was there first day of slavery. Your mama so old, she older than your grandmama. Your mama so fat, she... And it looks like we went you to the story again. We'll just wait for the stand-up to be over. Your mama's so fat, she on both yeah, sides of the Both sides. That's okay, your mama's so dumb, she thought a quarterback was a refund. Your mama's so dumb, they told her it was chilly outside. Yeah, she would get a bowl. Get a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go, baby? Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, the story is back. Sorry. So the kids take over one of the amusement park ships and sail it around crashing into other ships. It's pretty lame, but it is still better than Pirates of the Caribbean 3. Come on, now let's go get the kids. I ain't setting those kids, Jamaica. If you were smart, you'd come right along with me. So Robin, being as wonderful as he is with kids and all, tries to ditch the brats behind and leave without them. But the kids make it back before he can leave, meaning they're leaving this good old Disney World knockoff behind them. So Robin finally drops them off at their home as Leon says goodbye. <laughs> this has been another pointless moment. Oh, forgot the trial scene. So he takes them home and sees just what a lonely life these kids live. As Bebe still hasn't returned home and even leaves a note asking Robin to feed them. It's ten dollars. Call, call the pizza man. He don't come around here no more. You leaving? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure your mother me home soon. Just keep the door locked, all right? No. All those little terrorists needed this whole time was a daddy. Which isn't a bad moral, except for the fact that this guy is a terrible parent! This guy looking after their kids. He's an. Now do you understand? Uh, I understand, baby. Needs a good relative. But even have a change of heart after oh an hour and a half of film time. What am I doing? I, I gotta go get those kids. I can't just leave, man. Uh, no, sorry, I left you out there the whole time. I was telling the story. I guess I got a little sidetracked. So he decides to go back and hang out with the kids a while longer. So where we going next, Mr. Harris? How about Las Vegas? Yeah, Las Vegas? We ain't going to no Vegas. Okay, obviously they don't go to Vegas, but that doesn't stop them from at least dropping by Vegas! God, what a dumb parent! I mean, is he really that great a guy simply because he doesn't leave them? For God's sakes, he yells at them, ditches them, encourages them to beat the out of each other, but because he doesn't leave, that makes him a suitable guardian? That's like saying, oh yeah, he's killed 500 people, but... At least he's not Hitler! Bottom line, this movie is stupid. Is it a god-awful film? Well, I can't go that far. The animation is nice and colorful, and I gotta give it credit. For the time it came out, and every anime of film was Disney or Disney knockoff, this did take a few risks, and at least tried something different. But different doesn't always work, and this film has no idea if it wants to be for kids or adults. I mean, granted, I liked it when I was a kid, but that's just because it was rebellious. As an adult, it should either be gritty, grown-up humor or a very clever, funny family picture. You can't have it both ways, you have to pick a side. The morals get confused, but above all, the audiences get confused. And that's reason enough to call this a very annoying film. But look on the bright side, it did teach me the proper way to say tone lock... Tone Tone lock... Tone lock... Tone Tone lock... Tone Tone Tony Loprano? Tone, 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 you, mumble ya. I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Tone Hansel? 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 Test tube, baby.